Hi guys, Aaron Tipping here. I'm a fully qualified ski instructor, a Bayesley trainer and co-founder of Amazing Sport. We're here in Courcheval and here are some tips to dealing with a whiteout. Okay, today we're dealing with really poor visibility. We've got lots of cloud, it's a bit of a whiteout, you can't really tell the difference between the sky and the ground. Tip one is your equipment. Having a low light lens in your goggles makes it a lot easier to see when the light is really poor. The lens lets in as much light as possible, making it a little bit more helpful when you're skiing. On a day like today, your goggles are also likely to get foggy, so bring some tissue, easy to clean them off. When there's no trees around and the weather comes in and it's really poor visibility, the sky kind of blends in with the snow and it's really difficult to kind of orientate yourself and know which way's up can keep you out of balance and give you a little bit of vertigo type thing when you're skiing down the run. So what's really great is to find some trees, find a nice run where you have great reference points either side. It gives a little bit of definition to the snow and it helps you understand where the run is as well, where each side of the run is. Makes you feel more safe, makes you feel more balanced. This is our final tip for skiing in a whiteout. It's really, really important to know where you are on the mountain. And when you're skiing down a run, it's helpful to know where the boundaries are of the run. Okay, what helps us do this is the peace markers. We use these peace markers as a reference to guide you down the mountain when you can't tell the difference between the sky and the snow in a whiteout. So you can see this blue pole with the orange uh, paint on top. And you can also see the name of the run in the distance on the circular sign and the marker number. So two things, the blue pole at the side of the run this means that it's the right hand side of the run with the orange paint on the top. You would have the same pole on the left hand side of the run, but without the orange paint on top, okay? The second marker, the round one, this is the name of the run and also the number of the marker as to how far down the run that you've come. If you were ever in a whiteout and you were in trouble and you needed to call Peace Patrol and tell them where you were and you were really struggling to find your way, this is what you would use. You would use the, the name of the run, the number of the marker and someone will come and help and find you. The visibility isn't as bad as it could be, but if it was terrible and you couldn't see very far in front of you, I would ski down the reference line of the peace markers and this would show me where I need to ski to the bottom of the run. I'd stay nice and close, keeping them in eye shot and this will keep me on the run when I can't see where I'm going. Okay, with these tips, you'll have far more confidence now skiing in a whiteout. Join us for some more lessons at Maison Sport.